Hey YouTubers, Brent Brian here. Got a bit of a funny story for you. It involves the racer and the Honda, and primarily to do with their batteries. Just recently, I swapped the batteries from the racer and the Honda because I figured the Honda does not get ran very much, so why have a really good battery sitting in the Honda? And the racer had that energizer, which kept on going dead. So I believe it was last weekend I decided I'd swap the batteries, so I did. Strange thing is happening now. The Honda has not gone dead since I swapped them. Actually, I think I swapped them about two weeks ago. My apologies. It has not gone dead since. And normally, if it's sitting in the racer, I'd charge it, and then it would be dead. If I left it for two days, it'd already be dead. So I figured the battery was no good. But I started this yesterday. Like I said, I have not charged this in two days. Um, but it charges at right around 14 volts. That might have something to do with it because this has a much better charging system than the racer. Because the racer only really charges at a high RPM. Basically, when you're giving it gas, it will charge itself. It does not really charge very well at idle. Kind of like some of the, the older GM alternators. They don't really charge well at idle, but they charge it really well at a higher RP RPM. A little bit of side note on this battery in here. Uh, this is actually the original battery still from the Troy Chev. Um, that battery is going on four years old. It's never been stored indoors in the winter time. It's gone dead in the middle of winter and it still, con it still came back because uh, I charged it in the winter time. But I've used it uh, the jumper pack on it and that battery is still holding the charge. But uh, with the Troy, let's talk about it for a second. I was actually looking at the uh, 2012 Troy belts. They're pretty nice. They come with the uh, 22 and 24 horse Kohler Courage. I believe that's what this has in it. Yeah, Kohler Courage, right down there. Let's see if I can get, reach my zoom. So anyways, uh, pretty much identical body, but uh, one thing that's different, they have a gas gauge on them. Same gas tank, but they have a little sending unit right here. I've seen them at Canadian Tire, but Canadian Tire, they get really pissed off at you if you do any, uh, if you take any pictures or anything like that in their stores. So I can't really get a good picture of them. Also, the only other thing that's really different on them, the grill's a little bit bigger and they actually have a couple handles at the back on either side of the seat. Uh, I noticed that on the 2011 as well and I only had one but now the 2012 has uh, two handles on the back on the back uh, fenders basically on either side of the seat. They still have the cup holders, all that sort of stuff. I do have actually have the money to buy one but I'm not buying one. Um, no, I I'm not buying one. I wish I could. I, I know my snowblower would fit, but no, nah, that one's pretty good. I was thinking about buying a Craftsman from my neighbor not too long ago, but um, the snowblower won't fit the Craftsman, so I decided not to. Okay, so let's get back to the main part of this video. I'm going to show you the Honda. I'll fire it up for you. It is cold. My hand is on the exhaust. It is freezing cold. Like I said, it has not been running since yesterday. That's, that's never started that quick with that battery when that battery was in the racer. So, also I'm going to show you what this charge is at. See, even at, uh, at idle, that thing still charges at uh, four, almost 14 volts. Sorry about that, excuse me. And let's just fire this thing up. This will start, I just need to choke. Imagine it will need to be choked. Starting to get a little bit better with this camera. I know this is kind of like a ramble on 
random video but um only problem I'm having with this camera is actually deleting the videos after I make them. Um, I'm not 100% sure if the camera is holding them on in its memory or if my camera software on the computer is holding it on in its memory. Yeah, it wants to choke. Hopefully you saw it there, but, um, as you saw when I gave it gas after I zoomed in, uh, you, can see the, you can see the needle moving up and it does the same with the oil pressure, that's when the oil pressure goes up as well. So I would move this, but I kind of got two front flat tires, I put these two tires on here because they're kind of junk tires, but they keep on going a little flat on me, but uh, they, still, they still hold reasonably okay. And what else am I working on today? Oops. Put that in a break. Oh, just caught the Honda Honda headlight wires. I'm gonna get this hood back on one of these days. Anyways, I am planning on trying to sell this old vintage CCM bike. Uh, I don't have no use for it. I was gonna put an engine kit in it, but I don't got the time to do that, so I'm gonna try to sell it. It's in really, really good shape. It's Probably, uh, I don't know, late 70s. If anyone knows, uh, let me know. And I am selling my scooter, I've decided. Uh, don't use it. It's sat in the house all winter, so the batteries never froze up. I'm just charging the batteries right now. See the little red light on? So I'm just charging the batteries right now. And they're a good equal temperature now. One was getting hotter than the other, but they've equalized now. So, but anyways, I'm going to attempt to get 200 bucks for that for that there, and nothing's changed in the shop. So that's just what I'm working on today. And oh, and one more thing, that snowblower, my new John Deere, yeah, my new one, it came with almost three quarters of a tank of gas. So I have since drained that. I did that on the weekend as well, and then. Then I heard, oh, it was supposed to snow, but luckily we did not get no snow here. Eh, I wanted it, but my uh, parents are happy we didn't get it. But, um, so I drained the gas out of it, and this is has a full tank in it. This here has three quarters of a tank, and that there has about a quarter of a tank. So, sorry, full tank, half to three quarters, and that one has about a quarter tank. So, I'll, basically I, I drained this one out and it filled the racer back up and then I had a little bit left over and I put some in the Honda. So, and then I started it up, let it run, let it run until it wouldn't, wouldn't start no more. So that's actually a really good snowblower. I'm thinking I'm going to clean up the handlebars uh, eventually, but uh, not, I'm not going to do it right away. Don't got time to do it right now, so. So yeah, I know I kind of rambled on, did showed a few things in this video. Hopefully everyone stuck in until the end. It's appreciated when you do that. So I guess I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment. A little bit of a tour of my wonderland.